batch today third level nirahara 10th day oh god so 19 days they have completed successfully so only three more days tomorrow oh god tomorrow the first batch concludes successfully the nirahara samyam by by tomorrow yesterday night these guys all this internet and the two way video conferencing department in charge they came to me and said we lost internet connection only today evening it is supposed to come night they came and told me till today evening it will not come i said that and all i don't know tomorrow i have to initiate people into samyama i have to do the satsang it will be there i just slept that's all just before five minutes before the morning satsang it was up and still in the kodaikanal they were not got hmm. all right hmm. great this nirahara samyama is becoming a powerful process i could see people all over the world becoming healthy intelligent more spiritual evolving into high consciousness all right we will start the morning satsang i'll answer your questions the first question is from bhavya ia number 93 the first question is from bhavya ia number 93 she is asking dear swami ji I was wondering what I can do to help other people who are non-believers or atheists connect with you or find you like I have because when I try to share my experience or tell them about you they look at me like I'm crazy Bhavya I am number 93 Bhavya do not force yourself on other person you are belief you are experience when you talk to the other person see what he really wants see i am a spiritual mall he may have some disease for which you can give our kriyas he may have some life problems you can give my life solutions communication starts only when you start listening so don't go with the agenda of evangelism don't carry the evangelistic spirit no go with compassion listen to his problem see when you start talking to people naturally they are going to tell only about their problems if he says he has some physical disorder disease come on immediately tell him see i know one person who has given some kriyas if you see those kriyas and practice it will be healed i'll give you a small example come on show the video ma just today morning i received a video i'll present that video to you guys so obviously we will heal from texas uh alaiza de 33 años comencé con el problema de la diabetes um Usé toda clase de insulina por habido y haber. En, uh, a veces tenía que venir la ambulancia a llevar, llevarme al hospital porque el azúcar se me bajaba o se me iba muy arriba, 400, 350. Eh, un día mi vecino conversando conmigo me dijo que tenía una, una forma de ejercicio para hacer y... Um, me enseñó, vino a mi casa y me enseñó cómo tenía que hacerlo y bueno, antes de comenzar a hacer ejercicio me chequé el azúcar, tenía 350 me fui, hice ejercicio, todo como tenía que hacer, me enseñó y cuando terminé me chequé el azúcar y tenía 85 
fue algo extraordinario porque nunca había hecho eso de esa clase de ejercicio yo y que baje el azúcar tan, tan rápido porque antes yo tenía que salir a caminar en el vecindario media hora, una hora y así poniéndome más insulina me bajaba la, la azúcar fue algo extraordinario cuando fui a mi doctor le expliqué cómo era esto que me estaba usando 5 miligramos de insulina y hacía un ejercicio todos los días a la mañana y me, me dijo el doctor solamente eso es lo que te pone la insulina si sí, le digo 5 miligramos me dice qué bueno qué bueno continúa con eso no te aumente ni nada si con 5 miligramos está bien pero te chequea me dice todos los días te chequea y si si yo, 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 yo me chequeo y chequeo si a veces se me va un poquito es 100 pero ahí está comiendo como lo que comía antes ahí voy y está todo bien now do you need to do anything else Now you don't need to tell him to follow my teachings. He will just dive into my website, into our website. I can be sure for next two years he will be hooked to our discourses, YouTube discourses, the Spanish translation. See, if somebody has a disease, tell them to do the Nitya Kriya for that disease. Or if somebody has a life problem when they talk, give them one or two life solution and tell them, why don't you watch this? Guaranteed solution, YouTube videos. Just attend to their problem with compassion. Don't go with evangelistic arrogance. When you land there with evangelistic arrogance, by your very arrogance you create a barrier. So go with a tremendous compassion listening listen to them first i know how many wives have driven their husbands out of me <laughs> see husbands also know swamiji is right but wife telling is wrong <laughs> so understand do not carry the arrogance of evangelist that i know you don't know no listen to their problem when you know they have a problem try to give me only as a solution once one solution works i tell you all my solution works it is not random click that this person the diabetic kriya worked on this person Anybody with any disease, give that related kriya, relative kriya, it works. I have developed based on a pure spiritual science. Hundred percent it will work. How can otherwise one small breathing exercise bring sugar level from 350 to 85? See the the kriyas are built in such a way that when you sit in that posture and try breathing, immediately those special channels of kundalini gets awakened. That is why so much of benefit. And I tell you, it will it'll be a miracle for him. As far as he is concerned, from the age of 33, a diabetic patient, it will be a miracle for him. So I tell you, now I am getting an email from him. He was, that patient was retired because of diabetes. Now he has become so healthy, he wants to go for work. God. Just in 10 days, from 300, the reading has come down to 125 forever. 
just 10 days. Great. So I tell you guys, talk to people only about supporting them, helping them. Don't go with evangelistic mood. That is not going to work. Before talking, listen. Listen to people. Listen to people. I tell you, so many times, when these VIPs come to uh, have my darshan, first half an hour, I will not open my mouth. I'll listen, listen. I'll just hold their hand and listen, listen, listen. I wouldn't have spoken a single word. When they go out, they'll say, oh, pss, what a great Swamiji. He solved all our problems. Listen first. People don't have place to pour themselves. Nobody is listening in the planet Earth. Understand? Nobody is listening. Just listen first. Even if you pay to psychoanalysts and psychiatrists to listen to you, they are not listening completely. Listen, and all you need is, you just need to have a rough view of our website, what we call site map. If our site map is in your brain, that's enough. When somebody talks, they have a disease, you know, remember Kriya. If somebody says, there is some life problem, guaranteed solutions. If somebody says that they feel dry in their life, then come on. Read the enlightenment portion. I am almost a spiritual free mall. Our website is a spiritual free mall. Understand? Wild forest. But everything is available. Actually, in the inner, in the inner awakening, one full day I am going to be, I will be teaching only on this communication. means listening. Listening. Yesterday night we had a long discussion with a group of ashramites. And they were telling me about the power of this Kalbhairava Darshan. But I will tell you some of the miracles happened in the Kalbhairava Darshan. Day before yesterday, when I was healing one person, initiating one person, I asked, did you have abortion? I think I shouldn't have, if I am in the normal mood, I will not ask this in public. But Kala Bhairava doesn't know all this courtesy, politically polite and all that. He is very straight. And she was completely shaken. I can understand. It's such a personal thing, but what to do? Hmm? That's why from today I will not have the mic when I give the individual darshan. So, anyhow, she said no. And I said, all right. I blessed her and I gave whatever instruction you want to give and sent her. And same way, to another one person I asked, do you get constantly dreams of you committing suicide in your dreams? That as if you are committing suicide. She said, no. Then again I thought maybe in the public... I shouldn't have asked and I blessed and said whatever instruction I want to give, I gave and sent her. Then I was, while I was, after the darshan, while I was driving back, I went to Madurai and came back. And so while I was driving in the car to our brahmacharis, I said, you see, these two persons I, I have asked, they said no, but I am very sure both what I asked is true. She had an abortion and she, the other one is having the dreams of suicide. Can you tell Mamanesha to go and talk to them in private? When Mamanesha went and asked, she said, yes. <laughs> she said that in their country, if it is naturally the child dies, it is not called abortion. So she could not understand. And only if you voluntarily do, it is called abortion. It's called miscarriage, it seems. The 
But in India, whether it, uh, the child dies by itself or you abort it, it is called abortion only. So, anyhow, after all, Calvary was using Indian edition of English at that time. <laughs> he was using Indian edition of English, Indian version of English. So, that is the reason he used the word miscarriage, word abortion. Anyhow, then the other lady, she also said, yes, I do get that like you are passing out, dying. This was biggest problem. When these guys came and reported to me, I said yes. Because I was, I am very sure, please understand. When in a normal way, when you come and ask me for darshan, blessings and all that, I have the human angle of me, which is sympathy. The consoling angle, the compassion angle. So what I do, all right, I will work. It will happen. So, I am not completely standing on the truth alone at that time. I am standing on compassion also. So, sometime, I do not tell the truth as it is. I tell in, the, in a way where you want to listen with a little sugar coating. But Kalabhairava doesn't believe in sugar and all. He is too straight. And I tell you, whatever I utter during the Kalabhairava Darshan, I take responsibility for it because it is 100% truth. Nothing can miss. Nothing can miss. Even a line doesn't miss. During Kalabhairava Darshan, anything uttered, uttered. I know. So we were having all these discussions. But another one problem with uh, this Kalbhairava Darshan is because it is not politically polite, people who ask the question should be very mature to receive the answer. Sometimes these fellows get offended. See, when you, if you are offended by my answer, if you somehow digest it, great. But instead if you say, no, 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 it is all lies, you are gone. And one more funny thing happened. This Karpa Swami temple pujari came, chief priest came. Do you guys know that uh, day before yesterday he came? After the darshan, he went out and he was crying to our brahmachari. I have worshipped Karpa Swami for 35 years. Today I saw him. Today I got his darshan. Actually he was not supposed to come here. He says, why I came to Kodaikanal, I don't know. He is not a devotee. First time he is coming to see me. But he is worshipping me for 35 years now. So. <laughs> I go to the temple regularly. That is my favourite spot. Favourite temple. Karpaswami temple in Alagar Koyal, just near Madurai. Practically every evening I go for a drive. I go there and bow down to him. See, Karpa Swami is Kalabhairava. Shiva is Karpa Swami. Shiva is only called as Karpa Swami. See, each action of Shiva becomes a deity, becomes a god. When Shiva came and destroyed the ego of Brahma and gave him enlightenment, that action is called Kalabhairava. So, Karpa Swami means the lord of blackness, darkness. Kala means darkness. Kali means the feminine consciousness of darkness. So the Kala Bhairava, in the local terms, called as Karpa Swami. See, usually in villages, they don't use the word, Sanskrit word, they use the local colloquial term. Karupu means in Tamil black. Kala means darkness. The darkness only is Kala, Kala Bhairava only is worshipped as Karpa Swami. And I always visit the temple, the temple priest only. He came, casually he came to Kodaikanal and suddenly asked, can I come and see Swamiji, I have darshan of Swamiji. We told him, come during the Homa, but somehow it got delayed. He asked me, and I said, all right, come, allow him. He came and had the darshan and two people came along with him. They wanted to ask some question. When these guys asked, they want to ask some question, I said, no, I don't want to answer. 
still i have not said even once no to anybody's question during kala bhairava darshan never ever i have said no first time i said no then i came to know they were fully drunk the two fellows sat in the back they were drunk twice they asked see have you ever i have never said no to anybody's question in kalbhairava darshan hmm they were asking me i don't know i just said no then when i finished darshan and went driving they said swami ji they sole so drunk <laughs> it's a powerful god after inner awakening all you guys will be taken to the temple you guys can go and have the darshan see because the deity is so powerful he is worshiped as a presence there is no form there is no statue worshiped as a presence his presence the door will always be locked the door is worshiped as a deity can you show me it's one of my favorite temple Yes, this is the deity. This door is the deity. You can see the pujari who came here. <laughs> He is only doing puja. See? <laughs> ah, yes. See, actually, it is. It belongs to his family. The temple is owned by his family. He is the head of the family. Head of the family. The person who is holding the uh, stick now, he only came here. Hmm. Now, who is holding the stick, ma? Ah, that guy. That guy. Hmm. That guy only came. Hmm. Ah, that's all. Sure. This is the deity, such powerful deity. When I went there, I saw him. I saw the Kalbhairava standing eighteen feet. I bowed down to him, and to such powerful deity. This this door is the deity. his presence is worshiped he is the he is the one who came here na see it is his family temple ma it belongs to his family the i think some six people are uh, it means he and his brother brother's son his son like that now you show show let them see completely how the worship is done और काल भैरवा This is the sandal of the Karpa Swami. Uh, can you show the sandal once more? Mm. This is the Kalbhairava sandal. Could you see? What a size sandal you see? <laughs> Because he's so huge, he is worshipped as 18 feet tall. So the sandals are that huge, that big sandals. That next is that sata. Sata. What do you call in English? Whip. 
The whip is there next to his feet, you see. With that whip only, they heal you. Whoever goes for any problem, they bless and heal. Mm. See that small sword inside that gap? That is presence. See that behind there is one door, you see. The space between that door and this door is Karpa Swami's presence. The, um, between these two doors, that space is worshipped as Karpa Swami. He stays there. That sword, could you see? That sword is only worshipped as a main deity. But all, all of you guys, it means when you, go, when you go for darshan, you will not be able to see that normally. Only during the morning worship, they open that space and do arti and in that gap only I looked in, I saw he was standing, 18 feet tall, <laughs> behind that smaller door, he was standing. See, in front of that door. No, 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 no. The, when you open that door, it's a temple, the Aragat temple. See, the, between the two main doors, that gap, that space, there's 18 steps. That is worshipped as a presence of Kalabhairava. That is worshipped as Karpa Swami's presence. And this, uh, this sword, this, this is worshipped as his personal sword, as the main deity. All right. See, when uh, Shiva came, doing the horse riding, all the, with all the horses, to answer Pandya's uh, thing, for, to save Manikya Vasagar, one saint, he stayed in that 18 steps. That is why that place has become the powerful place of Karpa Swami temple, Kalvairava. See, yesterday I was talking to all these guys about how powerful this Kalvairava, all these, that things. When today morning I was discussing, today morning I was telling my Brahma, I was telling him, see, people can never, common man can never believe so much of mystical powers are playing so easily in human body. See, till you yourself have seen these two Kalabhairava Darshan, can you imagine this? And if somebody tells you, will, will you believe? See, somebody comes and tells you, eh, one young man is there, he will stand on the nail, uh, uh, padukas, nails, nailed sandals, and hold a stick, and scream, dance, Whatever he tells comes true. And he is able to predict left and right your past, present, future. If, they, if somebody comes and tells you, what will you think about that person? Crazy. Bhavya, that is what people are thinking about you. <laughs> so do not go and tell him directly. Tell him or her about the things they can't digest. First you need to tell Listen to them, give solution from this site map, or website map. And naturally, once they have some benefit, then you can start talking about mystical things. Otherwise, you see, you guys are overloaded by Nityananda. I tell you guys, you guys are, it's almost like a, you have eaten this much and whatever the remaining chutney, sambar, idli and all coming through the ears. <laughs> Not that you ate this much and you are belching. No. You ate this much and the raw food as it is coming out through your eyes and nose and everything. You guys are too much of Nityananda. Naturally, I am too heavy for a, uh, any normal man, common person to perceive. See, it's like a, your few perceptions, once they turn positive, that's all, it's like a, after that you don't know where is the end. It is like a, you go to a ocean, Suddenly after drinking two 
handful you realize it is not a salt water it is a sweet water then where is the end you are it's like a, your mind is blown out too heavy the presence is too heavy this is one of the biggest problem you see many people tell me who are outsiders oh you have marketing department i say fool the biggest problem we have is I, nobody is able to market me nobody is able to brand me recently one brand manager came he came just to see us he said swami ji you are an encyclopedia and he says i am reading your website only for last one week and i need two months just to study your website to study my website if you want two months then study me what will <laughs> it is too much that is one of our biggest problem nobody is able to brand me nobody is able to brand me understand babya you are trying to brand me which is not possible you are trying to push me into somebody's throat which is not possible i'll tell you a small story one guy who is born blind he had a child unfortunately that child died the doctor is trying to explain to that guy why his child died the doctor was telling your child died when it was fed with milk blind fellow asked what is milk oh milk it will be white that blind fellow asked what is white that doctor says no 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 you don't know what is white have you seen stark it is white white that same type same color this fellow asked what is stark now the doctor is completely lost then he took that blind man's hand like this and show touched you see do you see now this is the way the stark used to be then the blind man says hey, if you put this big object into my child's mouth it would have died only <laughs> it would have died only <laughs> so you understand even i am not able, i cannot put this big object into my mouth how can <laughs> my child swallow this big object how the doctor was trying to brand milk for that blind man that's exactly the same way you will end up if you try to preach about me to people so go with the mood of compassion not with the mood of evangelism that is where you are ending up see all our guys are ending up exactly the way the doctor trying to explain to the blind man how his child died no you really jump on people don't do that i wanted all our devotees to know this one truth by listening you start communication first time when you sit with people talk to people do not say anything listen to them and just suggest only to see the website or youtube give some soft material don't tell them oh immediately do one pada puja and ask for the kalbhairava darshan <laughs> that fellow gets frightened <laughs> understand i am too much of mystical powers and abilities playing in human body which is very difficult for the normal people to catch so understand don't promote me directly like evangelism go with compassion on helping the person that is the best way you will reach me out to people and people also won't feel you are crazy or i am crazy
listen to the problems handle with compassion Paramahamsa Nityananda, a rare living incarnation, is named among the world's 100 most spiritually influential personalities today. Paramahamsa Nityananda has been placed alongside Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Oprah Winfrey, Paulo Coelho and others by Mind Body Spirit, the world's top esoteric magazine from Watkins, London's oldest and largest bookstore. A yogi by birth, he has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth. He has authored more than 500 books in Tamil and English. Translations of these books are available in 26 languages in Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Oriya, Bengali, Marathi, French, Malay, Polish, Portuguese, Italian, German, Danish, Spanish, Russian and Chinese. He is also an exemplary speaker with over 10,000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses. Social services such as Annadan, free medical care, free educational services with ashrams, schools, temples, hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offering exceptional services. A powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases from migraine to cancer. A Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands. A living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam. A spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples in places like Los Angeles, San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore and places in India like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai. A spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation, a contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers, an adept in Ashtamahasiddhi's mystical yogic powers who has effortlessly awakened the Kundalini of thousands and graced them with spiritual powers, a dynamic young guru who is an inspiration for for thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online, a beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. Vande Papa Vinashatam Nityananda Yaswagatam Nitya Muktam Nirvikalpam Dhyana Loka Pradipakam Vande Shantamayam Bandham Nityananda Yaswagatam Ananda Gandha Sancharam Sarvo Padhi Vinir Muktam Vande Jnana Layam Natham Nityananda Yaswagatam Let you all See, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peter, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Biradi, Bangalore, 562-109. Contact 0974-22-033-11. www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash Life Bliss Foundation.